Hello, dear brothers and sisters, it is a pleasure to welcome you to another powerful psalm that inspires and strengthens us. Today, we will delve into Psalm, an inexhaustible source of comfort and faith. I invite you to join me on this journey of reflection and spiritual renewal. Let's explore together the depths of this Psalm 139 and discover the transformative truths it offers us. Psalm 139 is a deeply contemplative poem found in the Book of Psalms of the Holy Bible, known for its wealth of images and reflections on the relationship between the human being and the divine. Composed by King David, one of the most renowned psalmists of the Old Testament, this passage has been revered by believers and scholars for millennia, standing out as a vivid testimony to God's sovereignty and intimacy with His creation. This psalm begins with a meditation on God's omniscience, recognizing that the Lord not only deeply knows each individual, but that He is also aware of every aspect of their lives. David expresses wonder at God's understanding of his thoughts, actions, and words, recognizing the impossibility of escaping God's presence, regardless of where he may be. From the furthest ends of the earth to the depths of the human heart, God is present and watchful. Next, the psalmist reflects on God's omnipotence, recognizing him as the supreme creator. David exalts the divine work of creation, recognizing his own formation in the mother's womb as a magnificent and meticulous act of God. It celebrates the complexity and uniqueness of human life, expressing gratitude for being wonderfully made in the image of God. This recognition of God's sovereignty over human life leads David to a deep worship and trust in divine guidance. Throughout Psalm 139, David also addresses the issue of divine justice, calling for separation from the wicked and an alignment with God's eternal ways. He recognizes the holiness and righteousness of God, inviting him to search his heart and purify any offensive path within him. Thus, Psalm 139 is not just a poem of worship, but also a profound exercise in spiritual reflection and self-reflection. He invites us to contemplate the depth of the relationship between the human being and the divine, recognizing the constant presence of God in our lives and the need for alignment with His will and purpose. It is a powerful expression of faith and trust in God's providence and loving care. Psalm 139 emerges as a work of deep reflection and contemplation. Inscribed in the Book of Psalms of the Holy Bible, revealing an intimate connection between man and the divine. Authorship is attributed to David, a renowned monarch and inspired psalmist, whose words echo through the centuries as a testimony to God's sovereignty and closeness to his creation. This poem begins with a meditation on divine omniscience, highlighting the deep understanding that God has of each human being, from their most intimate thoughts to their most visible actions. The psalmist marvels at the breadth of divine knowledge, recognizing the impossibility of escaping God's watchful presence, wherever one is. From the farthest reaches of the earth to the most hidden depths of the human heart, God is present and watching. A contemplation on divine omnipotence follows, with David extolling God's creative work. He celebrates the complexity and uniqueness of human life, recognizing his own development in the mother's womb as a magnificent and meticulous feat of the Creator. This understanding of divine sovereignty over human life leads the psalmist to a deep adoration and trust in God's providential guidance. Throughout Psalm 139, David also addresses the issue of divine justice, calling for separation from the wicked and an alliance with God's eternal ways. It recognizes the holiness and righteousness of the Lord, inviting you to examine your heart and purify any offensive ways in it. In this way, Psalm 139 is not only a song of praise, but also a profound exercise in spiritual reflection and introspection. 
He invites us to contemplate the depth of the relationship between the human being and the divine, recognizing the constant presence of God in our lives and the need for alignment with His will and purpose. It is a powerful expression of faith and trust in God's provision and caring love. Now we will meditate on Psalm 139, and then we will say a prayer, and then we will pray the Our Father. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me, your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me, and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. For you created my inmost being, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you. When I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, God! How vast is the sum of them! Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. If only you, God, would slay the wicked. Away from me, you who are bloodthirsty. They speak of you with evil intent. Your adversaries misuse your name. Do I not hate those who hate you, Lord? and abhor those who are in rebellion against you? I have nothing but hatred for them. I count them my enemies. Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Lord God and Heavenly Father, I now approach your presence to cry out for blessings upon each individual gathered here upon each family represented. I ask you, Lord, to free your sons and daughters from difficult times, to heal the sick, to be at the side of those in hospitals, and for all wounds to be healed by your powerful hand. Lord, I pray that you put away every envy, every evil eye, every snare of the enemy that seeks to harm your children. Remember the story of Isaac, who was envied by Abimelech and others. So, I ask you, Lord, free your sons and daughters from all envy and all evil that may surround them. In your word we find comfort and hope. We recognize that we have been through many struggles, through arid deserts, and sometimes the temptation to give up becomes strong. Therefore, Lord, I beg you to attend to each one of us, to perform miracles in our lives, to free us from all evil and grant us the peace that we so desire in our hearts. May your children's dreams and desires be blessed by you, Lord. May difficulties become opportunities for growth and may sadness dissipate in the face of your divine light. Grant, Lord, the restoration of life for each of us, the healing for broken hearts and the joy that only you can give. Also bless all nations and people connected through this prayer. May your presence be felt in every home, in every heart that cries out for you. You are our refuge and our fortress, and only in you do we find true salvation. I thank you, Lord, for your infinite mercy and love shown on the cross. 
May your name be exalted forever. May your blessings abound upon us. May we be kept from all evil in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we turn to you in this hour with humility and reverence, seeking your grace and mercy upon every soul present here and in every family represented. We ask you, Lord, to free your loved ones from moments of anguish and affliction, to heal the sick and bring comfort to those suffering in hospital beds. May your powerful hand be extended to heal all wounds, physical and emotional, bringing renewal and restoration. In your infinite wisdom, we know that you understand the struggles of your sons and daughters. Therefore, we beg you to remove all envy and evil eyes that try to harm us. Just as you protected Isaac from the envy of Abimelech and others, we ask you, Lord, to free us from all evil, guiding us away from the bonds of the enemy. You are our firm rock, our safe refuge in times of storm. In your hands we place our burdens and worries, trusting that you hear our prayers and respond in accordance with your perfect will. Grant us strength to persevere in adversity and faith to trust in your sovereign plans. May the dreams and aspirations of your children be blessed by your abundant grace. May challenges become opportunities for spiritual growth, and may sadness be replaced by the joy that we only find in your presence. May the light of your truth dispel all darkness and guide us along the path of hope and peace. Poor Lord, your blessing on all nations and people united by this prayer. May your love overflow in every heart and may your peace reign in every home. You are our Savior, the Prince of Peace, and we trust you to guide us through every trial. We thank you, Lord, for your constant faithfulness and unwavering love. May your name be glorified forever. Protect us from all evil. Strengthen us in your grace and grant us victory over our difficulties. In the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Glory to God. Psalm 139, with its rich, reflective poetry, transcends the boundaries of time and culture, echoing down the centuries as a vivid testimony to the relationship between humanity and the divine. His words offer comfort and inspiration, inviting us to delve into the depths of faith and spiritual contemplation. At the end of our journey through this psalm, we are confronted with the beauty of the connection between human beings and the Creator. We find comfort in the knowledge that God knows us deeply, from our most intimate thoughts to the most trivial details of our lives. There is no hiding place that can separate us from your loving and watchful presence. Likewise, we are led to recognize the grandeur of God's creative work, marveling at the complexity and uniqueness of each human life. We are challenged to reflect on our own formation and purpose, recognizing that we have been carefully woven and shaped by divine hands. However, Psalm 139 does not just leave us in passive contemplation. He calls us to action and spiritual responsibility. As we cry out for justice and righteousness, we are challenged to seek holiness and truth in our own lives. We are invited to open our hearts before God, allowing Him to examine us and guide us on the path to eternal life. Therefore, May Psalm 139 remain not only a beautiful poetic expression, but a continuous invitation to intimacy with the divine, to the search for truth, and to surrender to the sovereign will of God. May your words echo in our hearts, inspiring us to live lives of faith, hope, and love, 
as we walk in the constant presence of the one who knows us and loves us beyond measure. Amen. As we say goodbye to Psalm 139, we are enveloped by a profound understanding of the connection between humanity and the divine, a relationship that transcends all temporal and cultural boundaries. This song not only offers us comfort, but also encourages reflection and spiritual search. In its final verses, we find a provocation to act in response to what has been revealed. When we are confronted with the certainty that God knows us intimately, we are challenged to live in accordance with this truth, constantly seeking holiness and righteousness in our lives. This psalm reminds us of the spiritual responsibility that comes with the privilege of being known by the Creator of the universe. At the same time, Psalm 139 offers us a safe haven from our worries and anxieties. He encourages us to surrender to God's constant presence, trusting His guidance and loving care in every aspect of our existence. In moments of darkness and uncertainty, we find comfort in the knowledge that we are not alone, for the Lord is always by our side. May these profound truths continue to resonate in our hearts and minds, guiding us on our spiritual journey and strengthening our faith. May we live each day in intimate communion with the divine, seeking the truth, justice, and love that emanate from the presence of God. May Psalm 139 be not only a source of inspiration, but also a call to action, propelling us to live lives of meaning and purpose under the infinite grace and love of our Creator.